A lot of new cars these days don't even include a spare tire. So if you end up on the side of the road with a flat, which repair kit is the best? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which tire plug has the best adhesive. We'll test the durability of the tire plugs to see which brand survives the abrasive wear test. Then we'll measure the amount of force required to pull out the tire plugs. Then we'll install 100 tire plugs in one tire and we'll see how the tire holds up. At a price of $14, the least expensive tire plug kit that we'll be testing is made by Slime. The Slime kit includes a reamer tool, plugger tool, five long plugs, and rubber cement. The Slime Repair Kit is made in China. The Slime Kit weighs 5.1 ounces or 146 grams. If storage space in your vehicle is a factor, the Tire Slime Kit is pretty compact at only 50 cubic inches. Long nose pliers work great for removing nails from tires, so I highly recommend adding this to the list if you choose to keep a repair kit in your car. Remove any puncturing objects. Insert reamer tool into hole and slide up and down to roughen and clean inside of hole. Insert plug material into protective backing, insert into eye plug or needle, and coat with rubber cement. With plug centered in the eye of the needle, insert into the puncture until the plug is pushed approximately three quarters of the way in. Pull the needle straight out with a rapid motion. Do not twist the needle when pulling out. Cut off excess material so that it is flush with the tire tread. Cutting tool is not included. Reinflate tire to the recommended pressure and test for air leaks by applying a few drops of soapy water into the plugged area. If bubbles appear, repeat the process. At a price of $40 is this Grand Pit Stop brand. Grand Pit Stop's mushroom plugs can fix a puncture as large as 5.5 millimeters. It's designed for tubeless tires. The kit comes with 15 mushroom plugs, tire puncture repair gun, reamer tool, tire probe, stainless steel nozzle, and a razor blade. Repair instructions. The Grand Pit Stop is made in China. The Grand Pit Stop weighs one pound, 13.2 ounces, or 829 grams. The Grand Pit Stop takes up quite a bit more space at 112 cubic inches. Find the puncture and remove any nail or needle from the affected area. Use a reamer to clean any burr or wires from the puncture hole. Push the mushroom into plugger with the help of nozzle without touching the head. Load the mushroom plug into the gun tool from the top. Make sure it goes completely inside of the gun tool. Insert the nozzle into the tire using the probe tool. Unscrew the probe tool and leave the nozzle in the tire. Trigger the gun to fix the puncture until it stops. I was careful not to touch or remove the lubricant from the mushroom plug, but it still took several attempts for the tool to press the plug through the nozzle. To remove the gun and the nozzle from the tire, push the button at the end of the gun, then pull out the gun from the tire. Inflate the tire and cut the extra stem from the mushroom plug. At a price of $48 is this Western Weld kit. The Western Weld brand is made in USA. The kit includes 60 tire plugs, reamer tool, tire plug installation tool, tire insert reaming lube, two razor blades for trimming the tire plug. The instructions for using the kit are attached just inside the carrying case. The Western Weld weighs 2 pounds, 6.1 ounces, or 1,082 grams. The Western Weld is by far the largest at 240 cubic inches. Inflate tire to obtain original shape of tire, not to exceed tire's recommended inflation pressure. Locate puncture, then remove the valve core and deflate the tire. Remove punctured object. Install valve core and inflate tire to obtain original shape of tire. Apply insert lube onto the shaft of the reaming tool. Work into the area that has the puncture following the original path of the puncture. Turn the tool in a clockwise direction. Repeat this process several times, leaving the tool inside the area that's being repaired until you move on to the next step. Center vulcanized insert repair unit in the eye of the insertion tool needle. Remove the reaming tool from the tire using a clockwise direction. Install the vulcanized insert until 1 8 remains above the tire surface. Then remove the tool. At a price of $54, the most expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Dynaplug. The Dynaplug brand is made in USA. The Dynaplug kit includes eight tire repair plugs, tire repair tool, three insertion tubes, one air stopper, clearing attachment, pipe cleaner. Dynaplug claims their kit will repair up to a 3 16 inch puncture. The Dynaplug includes a limited lifetime warranty. Prepare the tool by installing a preloaded insertion tube onto the tool. If you don't have a preloaded insertion tool, load the plug into the stainless steel tube until the brass end seats against the end of the tube. It's helpful to wet the plug cord with water before rolling it to make sure it's less sticky. Remove the puncture object with pliers. Insert the tool into the puncture path and push at the same angle straight through the puncture hole. Push hard until the tool body bottoms out on the tire tread. Pull the tool from the tire. The plug will remain in the puncture path and fuse with the rubber. Before trimming, inspect the tire plug carefully to make sure it's 100% sealed. If needed, you can add multiple plugs to seal the puncture after the first plug is installed. If multiple plugs are needed, do not cut off the tail of the first plug. Instead, fold and hold the tail flat on the tire while the second plug is being installed. 
Trim the plug tail end flush with the tire. Do not insert more than four plugs. If air is lost during the repair, inflate the tire to the specification recommended by the manufacturer. If you need a tire repair kit to keep in the trunk of your car, the Dyna Plug Repair Kit is by far the smallest at only 27 cubic inches. However, the Tire Slime Kit is pretty compact at only 50. Grand Pit Stop 112 cubic inches and Western Weld 240. In the next test, let's go ahead and insert six tire plugs from each brand into a tire. I'll puncture the tire with three screws going right through the tread and then three screws between the tread to see if the tire plugs provide a proper seal. I'll use a different tire for each brand. Providing an opinion on how easy each of these kits is to use is highly subjective. However, the plastic handles on the slime are really small, making the tool more challenging to manage when applying a lot of downward force. After installing the tire plugs, I inflated the tire to 35 psi. No visible leaks right now, but let's check back after a week. The tool handles on the Grand Pit Stop are slightly larger than the tire slimes, which really help offer more comfort and better tool control when applying a lot of force. Being careful not to touch the tire plug, the lubricant that's on the tire plugs just didn't seem slick enough. It took several attempts and adjustments to get the mushroom plug insertion tool to insert the plug into the tire. Using the Grand Pit Stop definitely took more time and effort to use compared to the tire slime kit. No visible leaks right now, but let's check back in seven days. The handles on the Western Weld tools are much more robust and give the user a lot more comfort and control when applying a lot of downward force. The tire plugs in the Western Weld have a slightly larger diameter than the tire slime plugs and they're a lot stickier. However, the diameter of the reaming tool for the Western Weld is also slightly larger. So the amount of force to install the tire plugs seems to be about the same, but the larger handles really help quite a bit. No visible leaks just yet, but we'll check back in a week. The biggest advantage of the Dyna plug includes the small size of the tire plug and the small size of the tool. If the tire is installed in your vehicle when you're making the repair, it's a very compact tool, making it capable of being used in some tight spaces. However, the parallel handle orientation of the tire plug tool makes it more difficult to manage compared to the Western Weld. We'll check back on all four tires in about a week. In the next test, let's install three tire plugs from each brand into this old, really worn tire. After installing each tire plug, I'll inflate the tire to 35 PSI before installing the next tire plug. The slime plugs did a great job of sealing the tire. There's very little tread on the tire, which will allow us to test the durability of each tire plug kit. After installing three of the Grand Pit Stop tire plugs, one of the three plugs has a leak. The Western Weld plugs are definitely heavier duty compared to the tire slime in the Pit Stop. The tire plugs take a lot more effort to cut. No leaks for the Western Weld plugs. The Dyna plug inserts seem properly sized to repair a deck screw hole. However, one of the tire plugs did leak after the repair, so I'm installing a second tire plug. None of the Dyna plug repairs are leaking. So the old tire has a total of 12 repair plugs in it, three from each brand. So let's do some pretty rough driving to see if we can cause some of these tire plugs to fail. Gravel or rock road cause quite a bit of wear. So let's see if spinning the tire on some loose rock will cause damage to the plugs. One more try. The tire is still properly inflated. So let's see if we can cause some damage to the tire plugs ripping down the airstrip. The tire plugs seem to be holding up very well. So let's see how the tire plugs hold up after traveling several miles down a gravel road. The slime plugs held up really well and none of the plugs are leaking. The pit stop mushroom plugs were cut off level with the tire tread. Unfortunately, all the tire plugs filling in the repaired area now have some pretty significant pitting. So the Grand Pit Stop plugs experience quite a bit of wear, but there aren't any air leaks yet. The Western Weld plugs appear to have the least amount of wear so far. No air leaks with the Western Weld brand. Just like the Western Weld, the Dyna plug held up really well. No visible air leaks with the Dyna plug repaired areas. Sporty driving couldn't shake loose any of the tire plugs, but it did cause significant pitting to the Grand Pit Stop brand. So let's install three more tire plugs from each brand and then we'll allow six hours of cure time. Since the slime plugs include adhesive, I purchased the Western Weld adhesive to give the Western Weld an equal chance to perform well in this next test. It's been right at six hours, so let's begin the next test. I'll be using a push-pull meter that provides measurements in kilograms. Once I pull out the plug, I'll replace it with a new plug and inflate the tire to 35 PSI. Unfortunately, the slime plug ripped at 48 pounds or 22 kilograms. I made another attempt to pull the slime plug and it broke free at 53 pounds or 24 kilograms. 
The second slime plug came apart at 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. Another attempt and the rest of the tire plug broke free at 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. And a third slime plug came apart at 49 pounds or 22 kilograms. Another attempt and the rest of the slime plug came out at 49 pounds or 22 kilograms. So 52.3 pounds on average for the slime plugs. And the first Grand Pit Stop plug stayed together and finally came out at 46 pounds or about 5 pounds less than the slime plugs. And a second Grand Pit Stop plug performed the best yet at 64 pounds or 29 kilograms. And a third Grand Pit Stop tire plug broke at 64 pounds or 29 kilograms. So the Grand Pit Stop moves into the lead over the tire slime brand at 58 pounds on average compared to 52 pounds for the slime plugs. And the Western Well totally crushed the competition at 97 pounds or 44 kilograms and the tire plug didn't rip or tear. Very impressive. And the Western Well did even better on the second tire plug at 99 pounds or 45 kilograms to remove the tire plug. Once again, the tire plug did not rip or tear. The third Western Weld tire plug gave up at 71 pounds or 32 kilograms. So the Western Weld moves into the lead with an average of 89 pounds or 31 pounds more than the Grand Pit Stop. The Dynaplug tire plugs have a much smaller diameter than the competition and it still performed very well at 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. And a second tire plug broke free at 37 pounds or 17 kilograms, which is still pretty impressive when you consider the diameter of the tire plug. And a third tire plug gave up at 31 pounds or 14 kilograms for an average of 41 pounds or 19 kilograms. So the Western Weld came out on top at 89 pounds or 31 pounds better than the second place brand, the Grand Pit Stop brand at 58 pounds. Slime finished at 52 pounds and Dynaplug 41. The adhesive that's on the tire plug makes a huge difference when it comes to performance. I'll first clean the metal and the tester with brake parts cleaner. Then I'll apply 10 pounds of weight onto the pull clamp for 15 seconds. The Western Weld is the closest to the camera and it looks stickier than the slime brand, but there's only one way to find out. I did not apply any adhesive to any of the tire plugs. Let's test the Dynaplug brand first. And the Dynaplug let go at 5.5 pounds or 2.5 kilograms. That's still pretty good when you consider the diameter of the tire plug. I clean the adhesive residue from the tester between each test. And the Western Weld, which is a lot larger plug than the Dynaplug, performed nearly twice as well at 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms. I'm skipping the Pit Stop mushroom plugs since they don't have an adhesive and they're not sticky. And the Slime brand performed fairly well at 6.6 .6 pounds or 3 kilograms. At 10 pounds, the Western Weld brand has 34% more tack than the Slime brand. Comparing the tire plugs, the Slime plug was flattened by the 10 pounds, while the Western Weld and the Dynaplug did a lot better job of holding shape. Tire plugs have been blamed for causing tire belts to slip. So 25 plugs are already in the tire, so let's go ahead and add 75 more tire plugs to see how this tire holds up. Now that's a lot of damage. It took a few hours, but all 100 tire plugs are installed. Let's give this tire a haircut, and then we'll put this tire to the test. Even with the 100 tire plugs, which were mostly installed on one side of the tire, the tire did not seem out of balance. The tire actually seemed to perform just as well as it did before installing the tire plugs. Let's remove the tire and we'll see if any of the tire plugs are leaking air. And the tire survived 15 miles of use on gravel and paved roads. The tire plugs still look to be in good condition and the tire still has plenty of air pressure. Out of 100 tire plugs, I installed a total of six Grand Pit Stop plugs and unfortunately, two of them are leaking. No other leaks from the other three brands. It's been right out a week, so let's check in and see how the tires are holding up. After nearly a week, the slime tire pressure is still at 35 PSI. No air leaks with the slime brand. The Grand Pit Stop tire is right at 35 PSI. All the tire plugs are now properly sealed. 35 PSI for the Western Weld tire. No air leaks for the Western Weld. 35 PSI in the Dynaplug tire. No visible air leaks. <laughs> Installing 100 tire plugs? Now that's a workout. When it comes to tire plugs, there is a lot of discussion and debate whether or not they're safe. I've had very good success with tire plugs. However, my suggestion is to use it as a temporary repair until you can get to a tire shop. I really like the Western Weld plugs. In my opinion, they're by far the best. However, if you're looking for something very affordable, the slime plugs will get the job done. And finally, I really like the compact size of the Dyna plug. That's the kit I would have in my car if space was an issue. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.